Hey the Rembrandt Rovers, this is Miguel. Today we are in marvelous historic San Miguel de Allende. Hey there Ramblers and Rovers, so today we are rambling and roving our way around San Miguel de Allende, one of Mexico's most vibrant and colorful cities and we're here to show you some of the amazing and beautiful sights that this incredible Mexican city has to offer. Located in the heart of Mexico, San Miguel draws people from all over the world for the vibrancy and color of its culture and all the amazing amenities and things to do in this beautiful Mexican city. San Miguel can be pretty touristy as you can see there's a line lining up to take a picture before the cathedral so if you're gonna be here on the weekends or over the high season just <laughs> bear that in mind it's gonna be very very touristy although San Miguel does conserve much of its traditional Mexican flair and it offers the best of Mexican culture it is extremely commodified So it's Sunday right now here in San Miguel and you have visitors from all over the Bajillo and all over Mexico and international visitors too. You can see people from like just all over. People are gathering here for Mass. You can, if you're Catholic, you can come here and just attend the service here at the cathedral and enjoy just the experience of hearing Mass here at the main plaza. It's a beautiful walk, tons of people. It's the long weekend here in Mexico celebrating Revolution Day, which is November 20th. So a lot of Mexicans got a four day weekend and that's why it's so crowded. Just one of the things I enjoy the most about being here in San Miguel is the walkability of the city. It is how amazing a place it is to just make your, make your way around, walk, explore. There are so many nooks and crannies, so many coffee shops or ice cream places or museums or cool little plazas or intriguing alleyways that 
just really stimulate your sense of adventure and curiosity and just really it's just a city that makes you want to explore it on foot a city that really wants you to take your time and explore it slowly and just really enjoy the process of doing it So right now we're at the Plaza de la Soledad here in San Miguel. This used to be the center of San Miguel throughout the early history of the town. Right behind me is the statue of Captain Ignacio Allende, one of the Mexican heroes of independence who called San Miguel his home. As it's Sunday, there's this bustling local little market here. On the weekends here in San Miguel, you can find all manner of things to do. Anything from going out to try a dessert at one of the many ice cream shops or coffee shops or even finding a little knickknack or souvenir to take home with you from one of the little markets or stalls or peddlers that go around the city. It's just such a pleasant time to be out. It's sunny and it's warm, not too warm. So it's kind of just perfect to be out exploring this magnificent town and the, just appreciating and taking in like the colonial splendor of like the architecture, buildings, the churches and just the hustle and bustle of just so many tourists. There are so many people out today. So we're winding our way through the Andador Lucas Valderas here in downtown San Miguel. This is one of the craft markets that you can visit to get anything from beautiful textiles to something to adorn your home with. They sell a lot of silver, textiles and all kinds of other goodies that you can take as souvenirs for your loved ones back home. Anything from Juan Enriquez. Came here to a nice cafe to get some cool views, to a bit of people watching, and enjoy some nice coffee away from the sun. From it. It's just such a bohemian atmosphere here. This is an amazing place to come with a significant other or an intimate group of friends and just kind of enjoy like all these little pleasures that San Miguel has to offer. Let's 
let's talk a little about what I love about San Miguel. San Miguel just has so much concentrated flavor. Mm -hmm. Just everything from the cuisine here, where you can get anything from street food to some gourmet, upscale food at like a local restaurant and just the amount of art and architecture I would like that very same art is actually used in the architecture and just inside the cathedrals inside the churches it's just so vibrant it's just so colorful and that's something that I really really like about it it's something that really has a draw on me and I think that San Miguel is a very special place for creatives because it does have that vibrancy, that color, that spice of life kind of environment. So it is like this type of like small pleasures and big ones too. I also really enjoy just how walkable the entire city is. You can just go anywhere by walking. It's actually kind of encouraged to do so because it's so hard to move around in the, in the car like the streets are just not made for cars it's just, it just really preserves that like old Mexico structure of infrastructure so it's so hard to like drive around it's hard to find parking so like you really are encouraged to walk and explore by foot or by bicycle and there are just so many nooks and crannies all around the city Every, anything from like this like little coffee shop that I found to it's like small hole in the walls small eateries or bohemian nooks bars art spaces and galleries so exploring by foot really pays off in this town So right now we're walking in Benito Juarez Park here in downtown San Miguel. It is one of the bigger parks here within the confines of the city. It's, it's very beautiful, it's very lush, very green and it has areas where you can come and play basketball or simply just take a stroll along these shady these shady paths and just enjoy a bit of shade away from the sun you know or like a leisurely stroll with their significant other you know engage in that Mexico romance as you're strolling here in the park there are tons of artists selling their paintings or their drawings here so you can appreciate the art or walk along these cool little bridges that take you on top of these streams across the city so it's a very pleasant walk to do and from here you have access to all the local parts of San Miguel where you can appreciate some of the beautiful houses and the architecture just take in that amazing colonial vibe that is just prevalent here so that's it i think i've rambled on for enough during this video and we've had a bit of an adventure just going up out on this walk we hope you enjoyed the content of, of this video and we hope that this gave you some context as to what you can expect to find if you're here in San Miguel. Remember to like the video, subscribe to our channel. We're growing this amazing community of ramblers and rovers just like you. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so it would mean the world to me if you would smash that subscribe button and follow our adventures. It allows us to keep growing and keep bringing you amazing places and stories from all over the world. So until our next adventure, amigos, see you later. Safe travels.